Hello, everybody, and welcome back to part 9 of Steambot Chronicles, starring Vanilla, the leader of the Killer Elephants. <laughs> you won't have to worry about those bunch of hoodlums ever again, because we're in charge now. And they're not the major antagonists of Steambot. No, 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 they're not the big bads. They're not the biggest threat that this world has to offer. There's some more villainous people out there. They're no Team Rocket, you know? Team Rocket was the big major force of Pokémon Red, Blue, and Yellow, and then eventually Gold and Silver. Unless you want to count Gary Oak, I guess he was kind of the major antagonist, but he wasn't villainous like Team Rocket, no, no, no. It's not like he was taking over cities, like Saffron, and, you know, stealing Pokémon and stuff. I can't believe how many people came here just to complain. They think I'm with the Kella Elephants just because I gave them space to hang out. Does that really make me an accomplice being a fellow machine enthusiast? Inventions improve our lives and make people happier, right? I never thought anybody would invent something so outrageous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice justification, Mr. Asshole. Hey, you're responsible. You're responsible. You're the one who gave them a garage, you're the one who gave them a hideout. Please, Mr. Peregrine, please! Spare me. Hey, did you give those carpets to Jacques at the Siberian Musk Hotel? Yeah, man, back in part four. And I got 80 Yorochi for it, which, compared to, like, fossil mining and, like, arena fights... Well, not so much arena fights, because you get victory medals, but... Compared to a lot of other activities you do in the game, uh, 80 Yorochi is really not that much in the grand scheme of things. In the grand scheme of things, it's it's a minor pittance, you know? 80 Yorochi, what a pittance! But uh, I'm going to take a shortcut. Whoop! Just jump the fence, jump the fence. Luckily, you don't have to worry about fall damage in Steambot Chronicles. Like, you remember when I was at Vision Ranch and I was leaving Dr. Nutmegs and I just, like, jumped right down the hill? <laughs> You don't have to worry about fall damage, it doesn't damage your Tropmobile in any way, your parts won't get damaged, your HP won't go down. I don't think your fuel burns more if you take big leak jumps, so, uh, feel free to jump over things, feel free to jump very large gaps, because you'll be absolutely fine. It always lands on its feet. It never tumbles over like a Grand Theft Auto game, although that would be fucked up. <laughs> like, imagine if the Tropmobile, like, rolled over on its side, and then it tipped over, and then it started, like, sparking fire, and then it blew up. Oh, God. That would not be fun. That would not be fun at all. Hello, what's all this? Did, 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 did you really defeat the Killer Elephant's boss? That's right, I did. Oh, <laughs> this is wonderful. I always knew there was something special about you. You're our hero! I can't take it anymore! I have to go tell everyone! Well, R Rosemary was worried about you, you know. You should probably go see her. By the way, if I failed to defeat the boss elephant, I would have different dialogue options there, where Vanilla can actually admit that, sorry, I actually failed. I failed to defeat him. But uh, the crowd's people are so happy that, still, you went there, you did something, don't be so modest, Vanilla. If you didn't go there, nothing would have changed. It was because of you showing up on Boss Elephant's doorstep that Neferberg is free once again. So hey, give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself some credit, Vanilla! Yeah, you suck at Tropmobile fighting, but still, you, you did a good thing. You did a good thing, man. You did a good thing. But, uh, I'm the Great Clement, so I clearly did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly beat the boss elephant. Oh, Vanilla. Thank goodness you're safe. Connie rushed all the way here from Happy Garland. They said Nefroberg was attacked. I had to come check on you. But it looks like everything is under control here. I heard you're the one who defeated the killer elephants. Oh, let's not talk about such boorish things. When are you going back to Happy Garland, Connie? First thing in the morning. I can't keep the others waiting. May I see you off then? Of course. Thank you. Oh, hi. Thanks for coming. Be sure to stop by and cheer Mom up from time to time. Oh, and Connie, uh, please send us any exhibits that you find. 
Could you tell the other Globetrotters, too? Of course. We all appreciate it. Oh, look, it's the station manager. I guess I'll be leaving soon. Hey, what's the deal? What do you mean we can't depart? I'm sorry, the problem is currently under investigation. It seems there was an accident in the Quail Tunnel. Uh-oh, looks like the train won't be leaving soon. How am I going to make it in time for the concert? Isn't there another way to reach Happy Garland? Without going through the Quail Tunnel? <laughs> you'd, you'd have to make it across the Sabio Desert. I really like how the next cutscene is set up, how we get into that next cutscene, because, you know, we just learned that there's an accident in the Quail Tunnel. This tunnel is where all the train lines are, and it's been disrupted. Trains can no longer come to Neferberg, which is a big problem for Connie. She's screwed out of luck, she's in a sticky wicket, because she needs to ride the train to get back to Happy Garland, where her bandmates are waiting for her to perform another concert, right? But she's stuck here, and she can't leave. She doesn't have her own Trotmobile. She's screwed out of luck. She's gonna have to hitchhike or something, right? So, uh... That sucks. Bye. <laughs> Just walk away. Um, I know I've already caused you a lot of trouble, but could you please take me to Happy Garland? It's across the desert, but I have to make it to the concert. Please! Not a problem. We should get going. Oh, thank you. So yeah, folks, Connie is back with us. She's riding around with us yet again. Are you shocked? Are you surprised? Did the fact that she's on the cover of the game give you any clue that maybe she's going to be a major character who won't leave us alone? Because <laughs> yes, she is with us for the lawn haul. She's with us for the lawn haul. But, um... And this is going to be the last part for a long, long time in which we're in Nefroburg, when we're in, you know, Vision Ranch and the Hayabusa Carpet Mill. All the areas we've been to previously, we're going to say goodbye to those areas because this is our last time here. But before I leave, I wanted to take care of some extra business to prepare myself for the upcoming quests. Uh, and so I figured I'd go to the arena and fight some more battles in order to raise my battle rank. I want, ideally, every time I go to a new city, I want to have raised my battle rank up by one letter. Hi, Dino. <laughs> oh, hi there, Vanilla. How are things with you today? Mm. Very good, very good. I appreciate that blowjob the other day. It was fantastic. Um, <laughs> or did I give you one? I can't remember. It's been so long. But I'm back in the arena, and last time we took on Chucky Finster, but now we're going to take on Isabel, the Dancing Queen. She is a rank D fighter, so I am qualified to battle her. And, um, yeah, I figured I'd take on every single arena opponent that this game has to offer in this playthrough, just to show that I am a master gladiator. And I like that little detail. When Connie's with you, she actually shows up in the stands, and she actually watches the battle uh, with the audience. So, you know, they don't have to do that, but that's cute. That's fun. I like it. I like it a lot. There's the title, Menklext. I'm riding in the Menklext, haha. -ha. I'm also referred to as the stuffed boss. That didn't happen on camera. I actually took a nap um, when I was in between getting to the train station where Connie is. Cause like, when you're talking with Rosemary and Connie, uh, you actually, you get free reign to go wherever you want, but you have to wait until the morning in order to go to the train station. And you know, I don't want to, I don't want you guys to watch like all this dead air where nothing's happening, so I'm going to be cutting out a whole bunch of superfluous footage that you don't really need to see. This playthrough's long enough as it is, I'm going to be cutting down some stuff that is not interesting to watch. But, uh... BOO! I have so many cannons in this cannon arm of mine, and I just blew Isabel to bits. I, I backed her into a corner and then just opened fire on her. It was amazing. <laughs> Also off screen, I've participated in a whole bunch of arena battles, refighting Isabel and Chucky in order to raise my rank up to C. So I have like nine medals, and that's because I fought these guys over and over and over and over and over again, but thanks to very sneaky editing, it looks like I've only participated in two battles. You know, I only want to show new fighters and their one battle. I don't want you to see me fighting in the battle arena over and over and over again, so 
That's why I instantly got rank C, but if you're playing the game for real, you're gonna be have to you're gonna have to perform in a whole bunch of arena fights in order to raise that ranking. And again, there are other arenas in other towns that I'm coming up to, but for this playthrough specifically, I just want to raise my rank up once every time I'm in a new town. So C for this town, and then when I get to the next town, rank B. And when I get to the town after that, rank A, and so on and so on. So uh you know, I just want to keep this playthrough interesting. I don't want to waste your time too much. I don't want you to uh, be bored watching me fight the same Trotmobiles over and over again. Rooney here is a firefighter, and he's got a water gun. And the water gun does not do that much damage. And this is actually something you can equip to your own Trotmobile, by the way. So you can, uh... And you know, I thought that means there would be, like, firefighter missions that I'd have to put out fires in the game, but uh, no, that doesn't really happen in Steampunk Chronicles. It's just kind of a gimmicky, kind of weak-ass weapon that you can use in battles if you want, but, I mean, water is nothing compared to a good old cannon or a good old sword. So, uh, Rooney, you're kind of an idiot. I can't believe you're rank C. How are you better than Isabel? It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. But you'll see I got a whopping seven medals for taking on Rooney because he's a C-rank fighter. And what the hell? X-Boss Elephant. The Mad Elephant. A rank A Trotmobile fight participates in this arena. That's right. The leader of the Killer Elephants, if you got your ass beat by him before, you can get a rematch with him in the arena. And even if you beat him up before, you can refight him here as well. Uh, I'm not going to fight him again just for the sake of the playthrough. We already know I can kick his ass. We already know I can beat up Boss Elephant here, but uh, amazingly, despite taking over Neferberg, he hasn't been arrested by the police. He hasn't been arrested by the authorities at all. He's allowed to compete in the arena and compete in arena Trotmobile battles. So, uh, Neferberg, you might want to call the cops on this one because I think I found the ringleader. I think I found the guy who was uh, orchestrating the whole terrorism thing, but you know. Whatever. And if you want to go after me because I'm the new leader of the Killer Elephants, <laughs> you better bring an army. You better bring an army. Anyhow, I'm back at the canyon, Wagtail Canyon, because I wanted to get another fossil so that I could get a little bit of extra cash. I... What the hell blew up behind me? Anywho, I wanted to get some extra cash because I am going to be taking a long journey and I need to buy things along the way. And just so I can show things off in this playthrough, I need some cash. So I just figured I'd get another fossil, which got me a lot of cash. I got coal. Not worth anything. Coal. Not worth anything. Shit. Giant Hunter Fossil 4. Giant Hunter Fossil 6. That adds up to 960 Urochi. Oh yeah. As long as I have like 1300, I'm good. So I'm good with the cash on hand. And in between screens, I also uh, changed my trap mobile a little bit. I put on the mammoth tusks, the elephant tusks, as well as the ball and chain weapon. I now have the ball and chain that the boss elephant was using in our, in, his, in our fight with him. I really do look like the new leader of the killer elephants now. I really do look like the new leader of the killer elephants. But say goodbye to Neferberg, folks. Also, pay attention to the background, because I love the detail that construction has begun in Neferberg. All of the buildings that were damaged by the killer elephants are starting to be repaired. So maybe when I return to Neferberg much later in the playthrough, maybe a lot of these buildings will be back to normal, back to the way they once were, including the museum for which I am collecting all these fossils. Uh -uh, I don't know, I don't know. Either way, folks, we're done with this area. We're moving on to a new location in part 10. See you then.